Hey guys, Dean Mike here. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Last time, we wound up getting tossed around by Bowser in the Cloud Kingdom and then got dumped here in the Lost Kingdom. So, we played around here a little bit, got ourselves a snazzy new pilot outfit, which Mario is clearly not a fan of here in this heat. And we're able to acquire enough power moons to move on, so we're going to do that. Let's get started. I'm not entirely sure how that was supposed to work out for him, but that doesn't seem like that's a very climate-appropriate thing to wear. We have fixed the Odyssey. Took a little rough and tumble from the airship of Bowser. What a jerk. We're okay. We can get back on the hunt now. Just a brief detour. Odyssey's still not doing great, but it does seem to be functional. And if you're feeling functional, maybe consider liking this video, commenting if you haven't, and subscribing. I appreciate all of that. Appreciate all of you. It does look like the Odyssey might need a new coat of paint at some point. Don't we all, though? Don't we all just need a new coat of paint from time to time? Let's see what Cappy has to say for us. Just enough. Excuse you. I got more than we were asked for. The roll. We've already learned this. We are on a roll with this Let's Play. Thank you, Cappy. Appreciate that. We were headed to the Metro Kingdom, that is correct. Apparently it was... Ooh, it was built with the energy from Power Moons. Built off the backs of the hard-working working class. Very cool. Not looking so great, though. New Donk City. Looks like Bowser's got his fingers wrapped around this place. Must have beat us here. The Scourge on the Skyscraper. Looks like we've got some local citizens who are gravely concerned. Hey. Look! Don't tell me what to do. The moon is gigantic. I don't think that's how big the moon is normally. I would imagine that would probably screw up the currents of any body of water if the moon was actually that big. But yes, we finally made it to the Metro Kingdom. I briefly talked about this last time, and I'm one of those people that... What is this? Hmm. Is this a Skyward Block? Skyward Sword? Get your Zelda out of my Mario. I'm one of those people that likes to talk about uh, things that happen in games before they actually do happen. Sometimes it's on purpose. A lot of the time, it's just because I forget that it's actually going to happen. So, me discussing going to Metro Kingdom was not me trying to be coy. I literally forgot that there's actually stuff in between. So, there's that. Seems like this lady... Mayor Pauline! Is that the Pauline from Donkey Kong? Oh my... Oops, sorry. <laughs> kind of smacked her on the caboose with her hat there. Pauline, can we help you? There's no time to chat, though. No time for plebs like us. She's got official orders to take care of. I'm not entirely sure how that works. You know, she's the mayor. You know, who is controlling the advertisements in this city? Bowser is apparently hashing it out, though. All kinds of money. So let's go ahead and see. Oops. Just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know... Completely forget how to jump. A good start. That's just to show you how to get from beam to beam. We'll try that again. And we'll get a closer look at the coin of this area. Which, as you can see, very exciting is a coin. So that's amazing. Let's go ahead and check out... Nope. This. I actually was hovering over the right button and I completely clicked the wrong one. All right. The Metro Kingdom Modern Commerce Center, Commerce Center and Urban Playground. For capitalists. All right. The New Donk City, the city that never sleeps, the population crowded. The size is redonkulous. Locals are called New Donkers. The jokes just say themselves. All right. The currency is portrait stamped. I'm assuming it's maybe meant to be Pauline, which would be very strange that you would have currency with a mayor's face on it because the turnover is pretty fast. The industry is information and ads. Very cool. 
here you go. There's a little bit of, um, here's the articles that you can pause and read if you'd like to. There's a fun tidbit. The RC car. More new donkers are getting into the noble sport of RC car racing. Find a local enthusiast and you open up a whole new world. I guess this is probably the precursor to people just becoming absolutely obsessed with F1 cars, which have been around for eons, but apparently it's just the cool thing to do now. So here we go. The Crazy Cap flagship store. Crazy Cap is where we've been buying all those Power Moons and cool outfits. This is where the original one is. This is obviously alluding to stores in like Times Square. The original Toys R Us. Or I guess like the biggest one. I don't know if it was the original one. But there was a very large Toys R Us store with a Ferris wheel inside of uh, the area of Times Square. You could go inside. I actually did ride that Ferris wheel because at one point I was a dumb kid. All right, here we go. You can ride a scooter. But here are the three keys to the kingdom. Appreciate the constant power moon based progress and development on the backs of slave labor. Visit those welcoming souls who just leave their doors wide open. Another Zelda reference, apparently. And participate in the citywide festival if you can. Schedule subject to change. Okay. Interesting. But yes, it seems like things are currently a bit weather inappropriate. Me head into the city? Forget about it. All right. So a little bit of, uh, you know, casual Italian misappropriation. Here we go. There certainly are a lot of nasty looking bugs here. I don't think that these are captures, but uh, let's check these guys out. It's pretty nasty. It looks like they're actually like being born and turning into going from their larval stage to their actually gross current bug stage all at the same time. Nasty. Let's see if we can get a good. Oops, never mind. I'm going to try to get a better look at those coins and I screwed it up. All right. Get these nasty maggots out of here. Can we ride this? Oh, yeah, we can. We Viewers, I'm having fun! I'm engaging in vehicular activities, but I don't have my moped license. Alright, well, that was the thing, I guess. There are more coins over here, though, I thought I saw. I do actually want to get a better look at the... Oops. A better look at the... Coins themselves. I want, it said portrait stamped. I'm curious about what they are, actually. We have a tank here. It is perfect for dispatching these nasty bugs. And the other... <laughs> is that wearing, like, an Uncle Sam hat? That's strange. Can we blow up cars? Oh, you betcha. It's like when you get access to the tank in uh, Grand Theft Auto. That's a game for kids. You can blow everything up. I don't think we can go in every door. Not entirely sure how that's decided, but, uh... We will just try as many as we can. Ooh, there's a... How do we get up there? There's a crate up there! I'm not entirely sure. Oh, just like that, apparently. I still need to figure out that cap throw jump. I still have not. I've been talking a big game about how I was going to do that, and I haven't. I make just enough time for these episodes, and that is it. Not a minute more, not a minute less. I feel like I'm getting like close to the hang of it, but not really. I don't know if there's any value coming up here at this point. I'm not seeing anything. Get a sort of better peek at the advertisements of the wedding. Bowser's advertising budget must be insane. More regular coins here, but I'm on the hunt for the purple variety. I'd like to go to the Crazy Cap store. And, uh... Have fun with that. There's some worker Goombas over here. I don't remember what the Goombas are supposed to have that's, like, significant. Construction side, I never would have guessed. That commerce flowing through this city. All right. Oh, no. Okay. I think it's interesting that when you get hit in this game... Oh, boy. This is not going swimmingly for me. Um, oh, that's nice. It's like they almost knew. When you get hit by stuff in this game, it doesn't remove the capture. It just reduces your heart temporarily. That's nice. I do not know where I'm going. 
Haha, <laughs> you're stuck up there. Game does not want that Goomba to follow me. I've not... Oh, this is my first power mood. Inside an iron girder. I don't know if that's supposed to be the first one you get, but it did take me a bit to get to that one. This music is very eerie. It kind of reminds me of something from like a uh, like Zelda, almost. Like a Twilighty princessy kind of vibe. I've been referencing that a few times. Oop, more coins. Okay, here we go. Yeah, looks like they're Pauline or maybe a uh, another popular political figure. Looks like they really deserve to be on our currency, but whatever. Depends upon what they did for you. Maybe Pauline is above and beyond. She's really improved New Donk City or something. I don't know. Got another scaffolding to climb up. Oop, that guy ran right into my b-hole. Is that just supposed to help you get on top of the building? I don't really know. This whole area is a little strange. I'm not entirely sure what exactly is going on, but I think that that's kind of the goal of this first foray into New Donk, is that this is supposed to be a little uncomfy. Whoa! Everything is kind of a mess right now. We will... We'll go back to the new... New Donk Crazy Cap Store later, but for now, what does this say? A royal wedding, Bowser and Peach. I didn't know that Bowser was considered a king. I mean, she's Princess Peach, but I don't think that that makes him monarch worthy in any capacity. We've got these tank boys to dispatch here. Not a huge fan of this capture, honestly. And we've had it now in uh, not back to back kingdoms, but sort of. And I'm always expecting there to be more opportunities to grab power moons, but potentially at this early juncture, it's more of just a matter of trying to get to that airship. Where we have these infinite spawning bugs and gross. Construction access. I'm gonna do as much exploring as I can while I kill all these nasty bugs. Does that ever bother you, viewers? Do bugs bother you? Like, I'm the kind of person I'm not afraid of, uh, I'm not afraid of, like, spiders or anything. Um, I do have, well, I say that like I, that's supposed to be some sort of a brag. I'm not afraid of spiders. I know that's a perfectly normal thing to be afraid of. Um, but I personally am not afraid of spiders. However, I am incredibly afraid of things that fly and things that buzz. So, uh, bees, dragonflies, wasps, anything of that nature, you name it, I am not about it, and I will run terrified, shaking in my boots. I mean, there are exceptions to that, obviously. Like, I'm not afraid of actual flies, because they're relatively harmless. Except for horse flies. Viewers, have you ever experienced a horse fly? Those real big ones? Oh my goodness, those suckers hurt. They will get you good. Alright, here's moon number two. I feel like I'm getting these in a very weird order. I'm not entirely sure what the expectations are of the game at this point, but I'm just taking what the game gives me a little bit. This area seems to be relatively... Wow, Cappy, thanks. Um, kind of on rails, I would say. Okay, Cappy, you don't need to say it every staircase. Please... Shut your hat mouth. I think we're just trying to make our way downtown. Walking fast, faces past. Not homebound though, unfortunately. Plenty of construction goobas trying to stop our progress though. Ha 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 ha, your head's too fat. There is an opening that they could fit through, but they're not smart enough for that. You big dummies. There's some more wall jumping. Looks like that one actually did figure it out. Try to get up here, see what we can find. More coins. We'll need plenty of those to see what the new donk outfit is. I don't remember. I think I was probably supposed to take... Oh, get out of here, you half-empty turd burglar. I think I was supposed to probably take that 
electric wire, but I chose not to. I always do things the hard way. What's life like if you can't be a little long and hard sometimes? Here we go. All right, more regular coins. The money is flowing in New Donk City. They weren't kidding about that commerce. And you can obviously go the easy way and go right for what they want you to, but I'm gonna keep exploring until I find as much interesting stuff as I can. Ooh, there's a moon right there. See, viewers, if you don't ex oh. Uh, okay. If you don't explore, you'll miss out on some neat stuff. This one was a little out of view. I actually didn't see it right away. Leave it to me to... Oh boy, I'm about to fall, aren't I? Swain in the breeze. Oh no. Oh, whew. that was close. Okay. Back to business here. Let's bring it around town. It's a lot of power moons. I think that's 20. I was like, we'll need quite... What is that? Oh. Is that Bowser's boxing glove down there? I think so. Interesting. Can't use the map, though, because... Why would you? Alright, as far as I know, I think that we are... Making a pretty quality ascent here. The new Donk City Hall interior. Which apparently has no floor. Seems like... New Donk has seen better days. All those Goombas are slacking. Get back to work. All right, there are coins over there, but I don't know how to get them yet. Like I mentioned before, I'll try to get a decent amount of coins and there will be, of course, don't you forget it. Um, there will be revisits to pretty much every kingdom. Spoilers that we see in this game. That's not the button I wanted. So don't worry about there being things that I could have collected at the Crazy Cap store that I have not, or coins that I've missed. I will, of course, you know. Okay. Well, that's what happens when you get pushed out of the way by a Goomba. We just got bodied by a small phallic creature. Not cool. But yeah, I will be returning to those areas at some point in the game. Oh, no. Okay. We are learning on the fly that these platforms are not too friendly to Mario. <laughs> Let's be patient, though. That's something I struggle with when I play some of these games, is that I just want to go, go, go. No time for slow, slow, slow. All right. Let's kill these Goombas first. Hop down here. And grab some more coins on the descent. Just needs a moment. There we go. Coins haven't been very plentiful. I'm assuming that this little area is meant to just be a uh, kind of a tutorial, little entryway to New Donk. Those kind of remind me of, um, I never played it because I didn't have it, obviously. That'd be a good reason not to play something. Uh, but there was that game, I think, for Dreamcast, dating myself a little bit. Back in the day, Mr. Mosquito. Oh boy, I am just goofing up right now. Mr. Mosquito and those Characters kind of look like that. I don't think Nintendo has any involvement in that. I believe it was a Sega title, so. Face the pole. Climb that pole, Mario. Ooh, okay. Anybody remember Mario 64 having to do these in, like, the, uh... I forget what level it is, but it's the level with, um... Bowser's Submarine. Ooh. Doing those pole jumps to get those red coins. Yikes. That was... A tall ask at the time for child smaller brained me. Not too much small. All right, so we got as much as we can gain so far, I believe. I do actually need to be careful here because I am on the verge of ending this particular life and being reincarnated from coins. All right, here we go. Can we get straight up to this one from that one? Maybe. Oh, yeah, that was... Pretty clutch. I don't know. Is there anything special up here, or is this just progress? Maybe? I'm not particularly interested in uh, just trying to go up here for the sake of it. If there's... Oh, there's a treasure chest. There's treasure, viewers! Maybe that actually is something important. Oh, I gotta be careful, though. We're destroying Bowser's advertising. He's gonna come after us with the defamation lawsuit. This city hall lost and found. Four moons so far. 
Yeah, the game is pretty stingy with these moons, huh? What do you think? Not dealing with those Goombas. I'm not risking it. Pretty risk averse. Only guarantees here at D Mike Industries. Would love a Power Heart. Anything of that variety would be good. I don't know if you get anything for actually peeling off the advertisements on the walls, but it is pretty fun to do. This is kind of gross, though. Is this supposed to be like a little bit of an indictment on big cities that they're dirty? Nintendo, are you speaking bad about New York City in the U.S. and I? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. Beep, 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 beep. I actually got more than three out of that. I actually got five out of that. I needed it too. Uh, okay. Where do we go from here? I don't know, actually. I might have actually been intended to go up. Is this just a little... Distraction? Maybe up was the way to go. Or... I don't, I don't know. Well, thankfully, we can go back to that area, of course. But we have to hurry. Okay. Oh, those do reanimate. Very nice. Yeah. We will go back up here again. I don't know where I'm going. I do no pre-planning. I don't pre-play any of these. There's no walkthroughs here at D Mike Industries. All off the dome. Fresh for y'all. All right. I don't know. I honestly don't know. And I don't know how to do the cap jump. I gotta figure that out someday. It's not shaking. I just tried to do that. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure it out another time, viewers. You just saw very concretely that I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I sort of, I sort of got it a little bit, but it's obviously not what the game is intending. Now, was I supposed to like rip off some posters, or I'm trying to see where the way forward is? I always love when I play games and I get lost, especially in a Mario game, which is probably one of the easiest games to not get lost in. This might be part of like the. Uh, Oh, there's an opening. Oh my goodness, I'm blind. Viewers, holy smokes, I'm getting old. Not with that attitude. Cappy is still not had enough of the Devil's Lettuce. He is not high enough. He went up to the top of the building and he hasn't come back. Well, clearly he's having a better time than you are. You square. Don't get mad at your friend. Maybe go after him. Okay, looks like there's nothing here. But up and up. Looks like we do actually have to use the power wire. This sets us up with the boss fight itself, it looks like. Yeah. Seems like there's a uh, mischievous creature on the top of this tower, just on the tip. It's trying to suck all the juice from the tip. You gotta quit doing that. You don't have consent. Am I supposed to hit this? Oh, okay. Nice little cutscene, thank you. This thing looks nasty. Creepy little bugger. I think it's time to throw down. Uh-oh. And Mario's dead. This is actually the end of the Let's Play. Splat. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not how physics work, but, you know. Okay. So this is, uh... Succasaurus, or the Succipede, depending upon uh, where you're from. You have to knock out all the um, blue sections, as you can see, using your tank boys. And now you just gotta blast it with your, uh, with your boomer. All right. Cappy is very excited that we are killing this creature. Whoa. You gotta get out of the way here. It is coming in fast. It apparently can teleport. I'm not entirely sure how that's possible, but make sure you keep moving. 
for the beam of light, it's going to give you a heads up on where to go. Or we're not to be, I suppose. Okay, stomping away. See if it does the rule of thirds. Because that's getting a little old. Alright, it's going to be on this part of the building. And rinse and repeat. Just kidding. Not rinse and repeat. Not yet. Oh, it looks like it's... Orbs have turned from blue to purple. It does pause from time to time, and it looks like it gets a little bit bigger. I don't know if I can shoot all the way up there. I'm about to back up. I'm going to have to back, back, back it up. These energy orbs do look like they're going to come right at you. This is a weird boss fight. I don't know if I necessarily care for it. Like I said before, I don't know how people feel about New Donk City in general. Um, this variety or the... Um, the future variety once the city has been uh, freed from the clutches of this nasty creature and whatever. Um, I don't love this kingdom. It's definitely not one of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to be honest. In no capacity does it maintain that mantle. But that was a two cycle. For the multi-moon. Very nice. We'll take that. Killing creatures, collecting moons, it's what we do. Mario's a little moist. I can't imagine wearing that type of an outfit and being soaked. Sounds incredibly uncomfortable. New Donk City's past problem. We are the ultimate exterminator. Okay. Success. And apparently we have also changed the weather. We are in charge of climate change. A fresh start for the city. Pauline looking bored as ever. Being a politician is, of course, the most boring job on earth. We did it. That's a good idea. And that is something that we will do next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll see you next time. Bye.